Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ron and today I have a very special video to share with you guys. Today I am picking up some plants from Equigenera. So if you don't know, Equigenera is a family business that specializes in exporting all kinds of plants. They are located in Ecuador and they provide plants to people all over the world basically. They are very very popular in the houseplant community because they provide a lot of tropical plants for like very reasonable prices. So I actually placed an order with them online about a month ago but what makes this order very special is that I'm able to pick up those plants at their pop-up which is located here in Las Vegas for the very first time at this plant shop called LV Plant Collective, who seem to be very, very chill from the looks of their Instagram. They have really cool plants and merchandise. So if you wanna check them out, I'll put the link to their Instagram down in the description box below. So Equigenera was there for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I think it's super cool because there's just a whole lot of people there in the middle of the desert just rummaging through all of the boxes of tropical plants. It's kind of surreal if you think about it. By the way, Equigenera specializes in orchids. If you are looking for a very, very specific type of orchid, I suggest you look up that orchid on their website to see if it's available because there is just so many different types of orchids out there in the world. Chances are Equigenera Equigenera will have them in stock for you. So yeah, you might have seen other plant YouTubers unboxing plants from Equigenera. This is basically the same company, but physically here in my city. So it really pays to be like somewhat active in your plant community in terms of like finding out what kind of local events are happening because if it wasn't for LV Plant Collective, I wouldn't have known about this pop-up from Equigenera. But yeah, I placed an order for four plants and I could not resist two other plants that I found in the pop-up. If you cannot already tell, they are right behind me, right there, ah, sneak peek. Um, but yeah, let me just take you with me on a little stroll to downtown Las Vegas to LV Plant Collective where all the magic happens. Okay, so, oh. Peep the new car. Anyway, here we are at downtown Ferguson's. Actually, it's called Ferguson's Downtown, which is basically a district on Fremont Street that has been transformed from a motel to a little community of small business owners, creators, arts, and music. Check out this sculpture that's made out of a real semi truck. Just kidding. So this is the inside of LV Plant Collective. It doesn't normally look like this, but here is a lot of boxes of Equigenera plants individually wrapped. Shout out to the team who did that, by the way. It's so efficient. So here I am looking at my first box. This is the Anthurium Luxurians, $280. So beautiful. This has been on my wish list for a little while. And this box here is a bunch of anthuriums. So many different kinds of anthuriums I don't even know exist. Which, by the way, let me know down in the comments if you spot anything that's been on your wish list or anything that you've been wanting to get. Because I probably only know like less than half of these. But, oh, this one I do know. This is the Anthurium Regal. These ones get so huge. But I don't have the space for that, so let's just leave that where it is. This one here is the Queen Anthurium Esmeralda, which is known to be a little bit more green than the standard Queen Anthurium. Oh, there's a puppy! Okay, so this is a hybrid of the Anthurium Crystallinum and Anthurium Magnificum. I've been trying to look for the standard Crystallinum, but I couldn't find one. This one is another Anthurium, which I've never come across before, but it still looks pretty. I wish I could just take all of these plants home. This is an Anthurium. What? Here is a box of what at first I thought was all rare plants, but as you can see, there's a mixture of like 
rare and somewhat common plants like this plant here this is so common i find this in the backyard of my house it is the variegated monster adansonii for only 500 dollars like who would pay that much for this plant i would oh, oh, oh wait so this is an example of a plant that is not really rare it's a calathea white fusion i have one that i brought with me from hawaii although all the white disappeared it reverted back to all green sadly and then this one is another rare plant the monstera oblica peru for only 250 dollars i'm gonna get no let's just put it back So this store also sells a lot of cute merchandise and little trinkets here and there, like some candles, pots. For example, this little pot is so interesting. It has like triangles and like W's. Here we got some very amazing magnets and stickers. As well as pins. I really wanted to pick one of these guys up but as you can see I was busy trying to switch out this varicosum that I got in my order because the one that I got wasn't looking too healthy but I couldn't find one well that's about it for my first Equigenera pop-up experience let me know what you guys think it's time to go back to my plant room to take a closer look at these plants. Okay, we are back here in the plant room and here I staged the six plants that I got from Equigenera starting from the lowest cost to the highest cost and some of these are really pricey because they're considered very rare plants. So they are all currently in sphagnum moss, but we're going to take them out and I'll give you a closer look at each one and see what the roots actually look like. Hopefully they're all very healthy considering they have all traveled a very long way to reach here in my plant room. So first off, we've got the only orchid in the order and it is called Oncidium tigroides. Here it is. I'm just going to get this one out of the way because this one doesn't look the healthiest. Um, it's got a bunch of yellowing leaves here. So I'm kind of nervous to see what kind of roots are in here. I hope they're like not all dead. Okay, so this one, the sphagnum moss feels pretty moist, so I'm kind of nervous. But I got this orchid mainly due to how the flowers look. They have like these really amazing stripes on them. And it's called Oncidium tigroides, but I'm just going to call it the tiger orchid because that's what the flowers look like. The roots overall seem to be pretty good. Um, with the exception of like this one part that looks very brown right there. So yeah, there might be a little bit of rot in there, which I'm going to have to meticulously get rid of before I transfer this into... I feel like I'm going to put this in Lekka. So that's the plan for this one. But yeah, this is the tiger orchid or Oncidium tigroides. Okay, moving on to the next plant. This one is the Philodendron Mame Silver. As you can see, the leaves have this really cool silver, splashy, stripy situation going on. And this specimen right here actually looks very healthy. All of the leaves on here look very vibrant. So I'm pretty sure this one will have really good roots.
This one is so pretty. Look at that. Okay, there it is. The roots actually feel pretty soft on this one. So even though the leaves look really good, I think this one will need some help bouncing back. But there is that area root sticking out. And there is a new growth peeking out here as well. So I think it's still healthy. And that's the newest leaf. So cute. Love the color on there. So this one will, might be a challenge in potting up because we've got a whole lot of roots up here and a whole lot of stem down here, which I think it might be difficult to like keep that above the soil, but we will see. Okay, so yeah, that is the philodendron Mame Silver. Okay, the next one is this huge one. This is the Philodendron Rubri Juvenile, AKA Philodendron El Choco Red. There's the label. And look at that new growth in there. That looks like it's gonna be a huge leaf. I'm kind of nervous about this one, guys. But there is a little bit of yellowing on the leaves here. This is how they arrived when I picked them up. But hopefully I have room in the Millsville cabinet to stick this one in because I feel like the extra humidity is gonna help this one bounce back. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what the roots look like. Okay, so as expected, the roots on here don't really look the healthiest. There are some brown, mushy roots going on, as, as you can see. So I'm gonna have to be extra, extra careful with this one when I rinse it in the sink. I wanna make sure to cut all of that brown, mushy roots off. Other than that, I mean, the plant is really beautiful. This is probably why it's called the El Choco Red, because it has red, obviously. The new growth here gives me hope. So hopefully I'm able to bounce this one back very quickly. But yeah, here, once again, I think this one is the newest leaf. Just imagine there's no yellow on there. <laughs> I mean, also the new growth on here has a little bit of physical damage. But yeah, I'll probably give you updates on this one specifically. Hopefully it doesn't die on me because it is probably one of the biggest plants in my collection currently. And I want to make sure this one survives. So this is the Philodendron El Choco Red. Pia, come on this side, Pia. Stay. Okay, moving on. This next one's called Philodendron Varicosum. So this is an example of one of the plants from them that arrived pretty small. Although they do have like really huge ones of these, um, but I usually like to start my collections with small plants. So this one has the number two in the name. So I think that determines like the next size down. Yeah, this one also doesn't look the best guys. I was trying to find another one in the store to replace this one because they included this one in the bag for me, like pre-packaged to include all of the plants on my order. But it was nice of them to let me know that I was able to go through the boxes and see if I wanted to switch anything out. And I was trying to find a better looking one than this. And sadly, I could not find one. There was probably one in all of those boxes, but as you guys saw, that would be like finding a needle in a haystack because there's just that many plants. Hopefully the roots in here are not too bad. Okay, so surprisingly, the roots don't look too bad. There's a lot of brown, but I think that's just old 
stem because they're not mushy or anything. And there's a lot of white, healthy roots towards the tips. These ones up here, are these? Yeah, these were previously leaves, these yellow tendrils. This one is the newest leaf. And this one is an older leaf. Actually, no, I lied. That is the newer leaf and that is the older leaf. There is a new one about to unfurl right there. But what's really cool about this one is that the petioles here can develop that hairy appearance. Here's a closer look right there. So when they get more mature, they'll get even more hairier. But yeah, this one, not too bad. The Felodendron varicosum. Okay, moving on to the final two plants. But first here is the Monstera oblica Peru. Yeah, it is $200, but this has been on my wish list for a very, very long time. I know this is probably like one of the top sought after plants and they're very, very rare. This plant you're not gonna be able to find in your typical big box stores unless you've been touched by an angel or something. You will only find these in like very specialty plant shops. This one in particular, the specimen right here, looks to be very healthy with the exception of this leaf having its top portion chopped off by accident or shipping damage or whatever. Hey, actually this one's not too bad at all. Lots of white, healthy portions. A little bit of brown, mushy towards the middle. And check out how long the stem is at the bottom. It's like this long. So I hope that doesn't pose any sort of problems when it comes time to put this in a pot. I think I'm gonna put these all in like a very chunky aeroid mix in like smaller pots. With the exception of the orchid, I'm gonna put that one in Lekka. But yeah, this one seems okay. I have faith in this one. But again, here are the leaves. This is the oldest leaf right here. So cute and it has no fenestrations. Followed by this one. Actually, yeah, this one is pretty deceiving because, yeah, this one, although it's like at the very bottom of the stem, is the newest leaf. And then we've got this dangling bit right here. I have to peel that off. But yeah, otherwise, it is a very beautiful, striking plant. This one will definitely go into the Millswell cabinet. The Monstera Oblica Peru. Okay, so this final one, guys. This one was not part of the order. This one, I just could not resist. Cause look at how beautiful this is. This is the Anthurium Luxuriens. And a very fitting name because it looks very much like leather, like luxurious leather, doesn't it? So I've been eyeing this one out for a while. I saw it in a YouTube video. Someone had this in their Millsbow collection. I'm trying to build my Anthurium collection as well. Well, my Anthurium and my Alocasia collection. But I feel like I have a good beginner's collection of Alocasias. Anthuriums, on the other hand, I only have the Anthurium Forgetii, the Queen Anthurium, and the Anthurium Clarinervium. Those are the three that I currently have, plus this one, the Anthurium Luxurian. So that makes it four. This one costed me $270, which is very, very steep if you ask me. But like I said, I couldn't resist. This is such a beautiful plant, guys, in person. Like you can see like every single ridge in there. The texture is amazing. It feels 
like leather. Like here's a little ASMR. I don't know if you can hear that. This leaf is the newest leaf. As you can see, it is the biggest leaf here. But as they get older, they become darker, like this one right here. And I feel like the darker is so much more beautiful. I mean, this as a new leaf, the vibrant green is very pretty, but there's something very mysterious about that dark green foliage, right? So cool. And this plant looks very healthy, but let's take a look at the roots. Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, but I did have to chop up some of the roots here. But out of all of the plants that we've unpackaged today, I think this one has the most healthiest root system. Look at how bright white that looks. So the petioles on here are so interesting, guys. Look at them. They have like these ridges on them as if like they're square. If I were to slice that petiole, we'd see the cross section of like a square shape, which is so interesting. So it's got a total of six leaves here. This is the oldest one here. It is on its way out. That's okay, but thank you for your service. And then with each newer leaf, the size just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So yeah, I feel like I won't have any issues with this one in the Millsville cabinet. The Anthurium, what is the name again? Anthurium Luxurians. Okay guys, well, that is about it for this video. Um, now I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna take all of these plants to the sink and then spray them down, make sure there is like no pest on any of the leaves and just spraying down the roots, making sure there's no leftover sphagnum or any of the old rotting roots hanging on. I'm gonna snip all of those off and hopefully, hopefully they all bounce back. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.